Knight right here, push the pedal, turn it left. Here we go. That's Randy Ward out to an early lead in that Volkswagen. He's always pretty quick, pretty fast. Lead lap number one coming out of four under the flag stand, still your leader, Randy Ward, followed by the number 32 of Steven Batera and the number 71 of Phil Thompson. Kenneth DeBerry in that 48 making a move. He takes over that fourth spot as we come under with five to go, five more times around. Randy Ward coming out of forward, leading the pack as we got four more to go. The 32 machine of Steven Batera trying to reel him in. Randy Ward's got that Volkswagen picking it up and putting them down. Randy Ward still leading with three to go. Whoa, doing a little cross over here, the number 48 of Kenneth DeBerry. He's trying to take over that third spot from the 71. He goes up high. Looks like he may get the third spot away from the number 71 of Phil Thompson as we got two left two more times around. Kenneth, Berry, Kenneth DeBerry still takes the lead in that third spot. Sometimes the races are in the back of the pack or better than up at the front as Randy Ward goes under the flag stand with a white flag out one more lap around. In the three out of four, here comes your winner. Checkered flag flying your winner in the number one, Randy Ward, followed by the 32 of Stephen Batera, the number 48 of Kenneth DeBerry, the 71 of Phil Thompson, and the number 11, 113 of Riley Board. As green flags in the air, we are green flag racing. Ashley Huffman in the 96, out to an early lead. Here comes Lee Prater down low. He has to check it up as they got him a bobble in the weaving, see which way he's going to take that Volkswagen. Meanwhile, the 711 of G.B. Carter goes out in the lead. Yeah, the 96 almost takes out Prater. He survives. He gets by. Now he's running down the 711 of G.B. Carter. It's Carter, Prater, and Huffman. <laughs> it's still the 7-Eleven of G.B. Carter, the zero of Lee Prater, reeling here men. going to try the high side. Prater's going to do a crossover. No, he stays on the high side as we got four more to go. Now he goes on the high side out of one and two. Lap traffic coming into the pitcher. Prater keeps it going. The 7-Eleven has to back it down as we got him piled up over in turn number three. Into three out of four. Here we go. The rabbit. Everybody's chasing the rabbit. Here comes Prater down low. He's got to check up a little bit. As G.B. Carter slams the door. 
Carter on the inside, Prater on the high side as we go down the back straightaway. Prater's going to hang the high side, see if he can make it stick all the way up. No, I thought he's going to do a crossover, did not, as we got two to go. Lee Prater all over the back of that rabbit, the 7-11 of GB Carter. Into three, out of four, whoa, and Carter gets a little sideways. We do a bob and weave. He gathers it back up as Prater almost got to the outside. G.B. Carter in that Volkswagen Rabbit as we're coming out looking for that checkered flag on a stick. There's our checkered flag. There's our winner in the 7-Eleven. G.B. Prater from Hollingen. Yeah, we might have a different breed of Volkswagen going to take that trophy tonight. Here, Andrew Clark gets a good jump. But here comes the number 69 machine of Homer Bailey. Andrew Clark. And here comes the number 69 of Homer Bailey on the outside. See if he can make it stick as they knock the tires. And it's Bailey coming out for the lead of lap number five. Look out, here comes Dusty Bottoms in the 22B. Dusty Bottoms taking over that second spot and see if he's got enough to run down the 69 machine of Homer Bailey. Underneath the flag stand, it's Bailey Bottoms, and we got one leaving the track here. I think that's Dusty Bottoms that had to leave the track there. Homer Bailey still leading the pack. Here comes the number 638 of Doug Watson. Don't know if he's got enough time to reel in that car as Homer Bailey's got him a big lead underneath the flag stand with two to go, two more times around. Homer Bailey coming out of the flag stand with a white flag out. That means we're going to go one more circle one more time around. Out of turn four, looking for that checkered flag. There's your winner in the number 69, Homer Bailey, followed by Doug Watson and the 77 of Andrew Clark. turf cars. Green flag in the air, here we go. Everybody goes past the, whoa, we are hot down in the corner. He hangs on, don't get in the, so we stay in green, green, green. Cody Pierce on the outside in that 425 machine. A race for that second between the 17. The 171 of Alex Cowell. Cowell trying to ran down Cody Parrish. That's Connor Chamberlain in the 83K trying to run him down. As we got three cars spread away from the pack under the flag stand with five to go. It's the 425 of Cody Parrish leading this parade. Connor Chamberlain followed by the 7, 171 of Alex Cowell under the flag stand one more time in that same order.
trying to do a dive down the bottom. It will not stick. He hangs on to that second spot. That's the 83 machine of Connor Chamberlain from Pasadena. Everybody's chasing the 425 of Cody Parrish. Parrish up on the high side as we got two more times around. Cody up on that cushion. Chamberlain trying to get down low. It will not stick down low yet. Oh, Parrish goes way up high. We do a slide job side by side. He hangs on to it. Cody Parrish with one lap to go. Connor Chamberlain sliding up and down the track. Cannot get that car to stick as we come out of turn four. Checkered flag, and we got us a winner in the form of number 425, Cody Parrish from Cleveland, Texas. Putting on a good show behind him, Con Connor Chamberlain. As we had us a good race right here, teat race number two in the turf cars. I'm right there, and here they come. Jump into an early lead, Wesley Wagner in the 99. Wagner on the outside, the 83 of Chris Russell as they come side by side down the back straightaway drag race off into three. Doing a little crossover right here, will it stick? Now the 99, he loses his spot to, to the 83 machine from Bider, Texas, Chris Russell. Chris Russell, Wesley Wagner putting on a show at the front of this pack as Russell still leaves it with five to go. Out of four, it's still the number 90, 83 machine of Chris Russell as he starts to stretch that lead a little bit. Still leading Chris Russell, Wagner, the number 21 behind him of Harley Landry. Coming out with two laps to go, two more times around. Whoa, we got him going around right now. Hard up there, get off that wall. Mercy, mercy, yellow comes out. Our leader, the number 83, does a little doop de doop Harley Landry, I mean, Jody Whitaker in that number 11. I pro probably going to get a jump start on him. He will go two back, so he will go back to the third spot. White flag is out. Here comes Wesley Wagner down low. He takes the lead back over. Unofficially, we got Jody Whitaker in that second spot as the checkered flag comes out. And Harley Landry in the third spot. We all start. Steven Roberts out to an early lead on the high side. Is the Nathan Parrish in that 408. Running that cushion underneath the flag stand, the 408. Of Nathan Parrish, followed by the 63 machine of Dylan Rogers. It's still the 408. Whoa, the 408 goes around and around. Oh, mercy. Dodging those bullets. Good to see you here, brother. 
Back green, green, green. Got us a race at the front of this pack, side by side under the flag stand. We got us a new leader in the form of the number 63, or of Danny, Dan, Danlin, Dylan Rogers. Dylan Rogers still up front. Here comes the 408 of Nathan Perry, trying to reel him in, followed by the 07 machine of Cody Whitaker. Three to go, three more circles. Dylan Rogers from Alvin, Texas, starting to put a little bit of distance as they come under the flag stand with two to go, two more times around. White flag is out. It's Rogers. And Paris running one and two. Checkered flag is out. There is your winner in the number 63, Dylan Rogers, followed by the 57. Off into turn three. We coming out of turn four. We looking for green. There it is. Green flag racing. Oh, going around sideways. We got them all knocking in the ground and we stay green. We stay green, green, green. Jason Downing in that 164, starting to spread his lead out, followed by the number 75 of Matthew Cassell. There goes the number 44 machine of Sean Jordan, or Adam Bartell is one of them, as we got two 44s running third and fourth. Jason Downing starting to check out his car as he's picking them up and putting them down. Matthew Cassell hanging on to that second spot as everybody's knocking on his back door. Two to go, two more times around. Downing, followed by the 75 of Cassell, and the 44, one of them, Bartell or Jordan. White flag is out. We're going to make one more circle around. Coming out of four, checkered flag, there is your winner in the 164, Jason Downing. Followed by the 75, whoa, whoa, all right, ride it, baby, ride it. Whoa, Bubba Gates in the 16 doing a little pirouette as he come across the flag stand. Three, past that white line, we going green, green, green fast. Green flag in the air, here we go. That's the 38 of Justin Collins gets a good start. And they got the lead out of turn number two down the back straightaway. Justin Collins leading the first pack. 
We got one going around the back in turn number three and four, bringing out our dreaded yellow one time. Green flags in the air, and here we go one more time. Coming out of turn four, oh, side by side, Justin Collins, Corey Neal, putting on a battle right here. Corey Neal spinning tires down, down low, trying to get some traction. Doing a crossover right here, Justin Collins hangs on to the lead. Corey Neal's going up high this time around as he could get more traction. Looks like he was spinning some tires coming out between one and two. Justin Collins, Corey Neal. Corey Neal going to size him up. He's coming down low. Here he comes, Justin Collins on the high side. We got three more times around. Corey Neal sizing him up as we come out underneath the flag stand with two to go. Justin Collins getting mighty wide, blocking that Corey Neal. Corey Neal going to do a dive bomb out of here. We got the white flag down one more time around. Collins, Neal down the back straightaway. Corey Neal's got one more chance as he comes down low. Can he make it stick? We're coming out of here up high. No, he cannot. Justin Collins holds off the blind Corey Neal. And the 23 of Ronnie Smith hanging on to that third spot. We go one more time. Green flag in here. Coming on the high side, Charlie Riley. Charlie Riley taking over the lead in that number three. E.J. Fisher hanging on to that second spot, driving the number 11 and the 34 of Jerry Lecomte. Coming out of four or five more to go. That's number three from Huntsville, Texas, Charlie Riley. Followed up by his teammate, E.J. Fisher, also from Huntsville, Texas. Starting to spread his lead out a little bit. Riley and Fisher still running one and two. Lecomp hanging on to that third spot with the 48K of Larry Klapsky. Down the back straightaway, it's still Riley, Fisher, and Lecomte running one, two, three. Two to go, two more times around. Charlie White, Riley bringing that number three car. Well, we got one. The comp he has gone up in smoke. We're going to go. We stay in yellow, 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 yellow. Jerry LeCompte from Cleveland, Texas in the 34G. He puts out a smoke screen. A special thing. Here, one more time. We're going to have a green and a checker, green and a white. We all running for the checker right here. Charlie Riley.
Charlie Riley bobbing and waving as he comes under the flag stand with the checkered flag on the stick, followed by Larry Galapsky in that number 48 machine. Larry Smotherman might have been a little bit too early on that start. We'll see what our officials say. You got to wait till you're at the wide line, but he is leading lap number one unofficially, followed by Randy Bridges. Zachary Smotherman still leading right here as he goes under the flag stand. Randy Bridges in that second spot and the number 70K of Johnny Burroughs. Smotherman being challenged by the 46 machine of Randy Bridges. Good race deep in the pack right here. Johnny Weibel, Sonny Weibel in the 69 takes over that third spot. As unofficially, Zachary Smotherman and Randy Bridges still running one and two. Andy Bridges knocking on that back door as he goes down low. Smotherman up high. Coming out with two to go, two more times around. Smotherman slams the door. Randy Bridges falls back in place. We go down the back straightaway. White flag in the air one more time around. Unofficially, Zachary Smotherman in the 27C. Randy Bridges still hanging on that second spot. And Sonny Weibel back in the slingshot in that third spot. Checkered flag is out. There goes our winner unofficially. Smotherman followed by Randy Bridges. It's in row four. Here we go. Out of turn four, leading lap number one, the 121 machine of Joshua Sosa from Highlands, Texas. Whoa, Kyle Berry doing some inside, outside, in, going a little shortcut. He's back on the track. Everybody seems okay as we stay green, green, green. That gives Joshua Sosa a big lead, a chance to stretch out his lead. And the number 41, JR. Of Willie Beach behind him. Right behind Willie Beach from Pearland, Rick Henry in that 99 JR making a move on Beach as Sosa goes under the flag stand with three more to go. Good race for that second spot. Here comes Henry down low. Willie Beach slams the door, hanging on to that second spot. We all chasing the 121 of Joshua Sosa. Willie Beach hangs on to that second spot as he goes under the flag stand. Meanwhile, the 121, he is checked out in a whole different zip code. He goes under the flag stand. The white flag is out. The race is for that second spot between Willie Beach and Rick Henry. 
Sosa coming up high in three, coming out of four. He's going to get the checkered flag. He is your winner. Here comes the fight for that second spot as the 99 takes it over of Rick Henry and Willie Beach. Here, here we go one more time. Oh, did a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Willie go around in circles. Good job of hanging in there. We stay green, green, green. Christopher Harrington has a 17 of Jeremy Buxton having trouble getting that thing going to straight. Everybody's sliding around to Buxton. We're going, still going green, green, green. Three cars up at the front of this pack. Hold on to what you got. Corey Babbitt making a move as he's taking over that second spot. Christopher Buxton down low. As it's Buxton and Babbitt battling for that lead. Here comes the number 12 of Corey Babbitt. Corey Babbitt driving it in there deep. Trying to make it stick right here. We are side by side under the flag stand. Good race right here. Christopher Buxton, Corey Babbitt, as we got a drag race down the back straightaway. Off into turn number three. We got three more to go. Unofficially, Corey Babbitt taking that lead. He tried to get through the bumps. We got us a good jump off of turn number two. Underneath the flag stand with two to go, two more to go. Corey Babbitt in the number 12. Christopher Brook Buxton and the number 27 of Blaine Estes. White flags out, Corey Babbitt, Buxton, and Blaine. Still running one, two, three. Out of turn four, checkered flag. There is your winner in the number 12 machine, Corey Babbitt, followed by Christopher Buxton and Blaine Estes. Louisiana, the seven of Cody Robbins. The 18 of Caleb Dillard and the 7 MM of Joe Boswell, and we are green in heat race number one. Robin's going to take the early race advantage. Here comes Caleb Dillard. He takes second. Brother Fouts in third. Corey Oaks is fourth. Joe Boswell fifth as Roger Erickson rounds out your six car field after one circuit complete, seven to go. So Cody Robbins out front in the DeSoto Iron and Metal. Advanced Performance Engines, number 7R, 7X today as we have two sevens. And he's being hunted down by the voice leader, the Robolene Rocket of Caleb Diller. Diller driving the main construction JGM cleaning team, number 18 machine, as he's trying to hunt down Robbins with three down and five to go. Brother Fouch runs in the third spot, followed by Corey Oltz, Joe Boswell, and Roger Erickson. Robbins runs the top, as does Dillard. Dillard closing in with four to go. Dillard won the only trip so far in series history here to the 105 Speedway. As Cody Robbins ran in the top five for the majority of that race before finishing in the infield prematurely. But right now he's trying to hold off the points leader. Cody Robbins coming off a third place finish at Sabine Speedway two races ago. We had a Friday and Saturday night special, and there's two laps to go before he books his way into another redraw for the Cajun region here tonight at the 105 Speedway. Down the back straight away, they'll see the white flag this time. Dillard closing back in. Robbins has left the top open. Here comes Dillard, white flag. One lap to go for Robbins as Dillard's on the back bumper. Here comes Dillard. Doesn't have to force the issue, but he wants to win it. Down the back straight away, one final time. Is it going to be Robbins? Is it going to be Dillard? Dillard to the top side. Here comes Caleb Dillard. Does he have enough? No, he doesn't. Cody Robbins wins it. Robbins, Dillard, bounce. 
Holt, Boswell, and Erickson. That's to the redraw. Buckley and Rasco get started. Buckley gonna beat a right rear to Rasco. He's gonna hold on to the race lead through turns one and two, and he gets loose. Caution flag will wave as Buckley spins collecting Rasco and Myers. We're gonna go for an original restart. And third in the points right now, and Myers gonna get a great start. Alan Myers gonna take control, followed by Rasco. Here comes Anthony Mee. Problems for Thomas Holt as that engine does not sound like it is working properly. So the four is going to slow down the back straight away. That's the Atlanta Texan of Thomas Holt. And he will pull to the infield. We'll stay green. Myers has the lead. Here comes Meek. Anthony Meek going to throw it to the top side and try to chase down Tommy Rasco. Rasco holds the second and final redraw spot from heat race number two right now. And here comes Anthony Meek. The youngster of Anthony Meek. Just, this is just about his fifth night in this car. First night out. He ran about three competitive laps at Rocket Raceway Park before breaking. And his second night out, he led 15 laps at the Arkland Tech Speedway before being passed and eventually finishing second. But right now, Alan Myers out front and in control of this one. Tommy Rasco holds the second spot. And Anthony Meek in third. Meek gets strong runs heading into the turn, and he pushes heavy up to the top. Four laps to go this time. As Alan Myers will inherit the third place in the points tonight, as Cody Adams, who was third in the points, not making the trip here to the 105 Speedway. So Myers at least has third. And right now he's in front of the second place car in points of Tommy Rasco. Very crucial for Rasco to make as many points up on Dillard as he can. 66 points behind with three races to go. So it is absolutely pivotal for him to make this redraw with two laps to go. Still Myers, Rasco, and Meek. As Rasco's gonna push high, here comes Meek down the back straightaway. Two laps to go this time by, as Rasco's being pressured by Meek, white flag waves. Myers playing conservative on the bottom side as Rasco and Meek going at it for second. Here comes Anthony Meek, can he pull off a move to take the final redraw spot? Rasco's gonna go to the top side, Meek gonna try to turn down the line. Can't do it, Myers, Rasco, and me. It's about as good of a three-car race you can get there and out of Sibley, Louisiana, in the Myers Automotive Day Motorsports, Cody Adams Consulting number nine. It's gonna be Allen Myers taking heat race number two. This is the Jimmy Allard Racing Engines number 39, that's Dale Wester. We are Green Batty Alley gonna get a good start as Kerry Miller struggles through turn number one in the seven machine. Holt will take second. Ford is going to split the 7 and the 39 as he'll take the third spot. Batty Alley leads circuit number one, followed by Holt, Forbes, Wester, and Miller. Good to see Dale Wester back with the series as he's taken multiple races off. His last appearance with the Short Track Super Series Cajun region was at Rocket Raceway Park. It was our fifth or sixth race of the year, so he's been off for a good five to six races. So good to see the 39 back out here with the series. But right now it's all the 35 up front. Batty Alley leads, followed by Holt. Forbes has third, Wester is fourth, and Miller has fifth. Batty Alley working the top side of the turns and diamonding off the turn to get a run down the back straightaway. When we were here about a month ago, multiple cars ended up in the back straightaway wall after the momentum. So it looks like Batty Alley's trying to counteract that by turning down out of the apex of the turns. So keep Batty Alley out front. He is looking for his first ever short track super series Cajun region win as he had control of our race at Boot Hill Speedway before he lost power steering while leading. Richard Holt running in second, also looking for his first win of his career in the series. All five of the cars in this heat have not yet won a race with the series as we are in our second year of operation. So Batty Alley's got half a lap to go. Richard Holt holds second, Forbes third, Wester is fourth, and Miller is fifth. 
taking the weight, Keith Fatty Alley wins heat race number three. The final redraw spot will go to Richard Holt in the 33. Third, David Forbes in 28. Fourth goes to Dale Wester in the 39. And fifth will be the seven of Kerry Miller. Sag, green flag. Off into turn one, a pair of 44s. Thomas Down and Jason McCoo side by side as they come out of turn number four. Here comes the 91 machine, the 193 of uh, Philip Seals. Got a new skin on that thing, didn't really recognize him. Still leading this pack. It's the 44 something. Thomas Downing. Five to go, five more times around. Thomas Downing, Jason McCool up at the front, one, two, three. Seals having a little problem with that 193 machine as he's got them bunched up behind him. Thomas Downing, Jason McCool still running one, two, three. Phillip Seals hanging on to that 91 machine. Coming out, two laps to go, two more times around. Nose to tail. Downing and McCool coming on the high side, drag racing. Whoa, he gets cut off. He got to break it down so we don't pile up. Four, 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 four. On the back straightaway, white flag is out. Jason McCool up at the front of this pack. Jason Downing behind him. Sorry, Thomas Downing, my bad. Nose to tail, here we go right here. Your winner in the 44M, Jason McCool. All right, got the right sheet now. The sheepdog, Justin McClellan in the 113 out in front. The number five of William Jones. Going around, don't hit that brand new car right here. All right, see if he got, get it going. Nope, 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 we got yelly, yelly, yella. Green flag in the air, here we go one more time. Got him nose to tail back in the pack right here. Philip Seals trying to get up in between everybody in that 193, the yellow machine. Oh, up against the wall. Brandon Moore as he gets back down. Everything's cool. We stay green, green, green. McClellan still out in front. 
William Jones, here comes Phillip Seals down low as he gets a good run coming out of turn number two. See if he's got enough with two more laps to go. See if Phillip Seals got enough to run him down. Justin McClellan starting to spread out his lead. Underneath the flag stand, we got the white flag one more time. It's McClellan, Seals, and Jones running one, two, three. Justin McClellan gets that checkered flag on the stick. Seals is second. Jones followed by the one star of Cameron first. Three, green flag in the air. Here we go, green flag racing one more time. Davey Butler, here comes the number one machine all the way from the back of Keith Lee Jr. Keith Lee driving it in there by changing a little paint right here. So we got them going north and south. And we got one parked up against the tire. We stay green as he gets to going one more time. That's Michael Copeland. Robert Jessup. And Keith Lee. Keith Lee starting to reel him in as we come under the flag stand with five to go. Five more laps around. Robert Jessup. Keith Lee. Four more to go. Robert Jessup trying to spread his lead. Keith Lee reeling him in in that number one car. Followed by Nathan Renfro in the 911 machine. Got a new skin on the 911. You don't recognize him out there with a yellow and red car. Robert Jessup bringing the pack underneath the flag with two more to go, two, two circled around. Keith Lee trying to bring, reel him in, can't quite do it. White flag is out. Robert Jessup bringing that 24 McCarr down the back straightaway. Keith Lee hanging on to that second spot as he gets the checkered flag. Robert Jessup, your winner, Keith Lee and Nathan Renfro, followed by the 5B of Brett Flag in here. Here we go one more time. Factory stock racing. Calvin Tucker out in front on that first lap. Right behind him, the 29J of Justin Johnson and Olden Holder, the fourth, knocking on his door, running in the third spot. Calvin Tucker spreading his lead quite a bit here. He comes underneath the flag stand. Holder trying to reel him in. And Justin Johnson hanging into that third spot. Out of four with four to go. Calvin Tucker, Holder, and the 29 machine of Johnson.
Alvin Tucker in the 83 still leading the parade as he goes under the flag stand one more time. Olden Holder hanging on to that second spot. It shows the 11. But I think that's the 116 of James Bryant in that third spot. Now James Bryant back at the back of the pack. There's a car that came off the freeway. I guess he's driving it, number 29 machine. I think that's Justin Johnson though. White flag is out. It's still Tucker, Holder, and Johnson. Checkered flag in the air. There's your winner in the number 83, Calvin Tucker, followed by Olden Holder the fourth, the 29 of Justin Johnson, and the number 11, J of Jamie Sanford. We hold on to what you got as we go street stock racing right here. <laughs> Slinging it off into turn number one and two. Here comes the 87 machine of Ethan Tossey. Ethan Kazi on the high side. Here comes Olin Holder in the number 89, trying to get that second spot away from Ricky Warren. Jaden Pena hanging on as he's clogged up in some traffic, trying to get that red 77 to picking it up and going. Kent Lewis Sr. Back in the back, drives those sprint cars. He said this is a lot different from driving a sprint car and driving a stock car. Still leading from New Caney, Ethan Cosey in the 87. Ricky Warren hanging on to that second spot. Here comes Jaden Pena on the outside in that red 77. Four more to go. Coming out of turn number four, it's still Cosy, Warren, as Jaden Pena takes that 77 to the hot pits. See if that will bring out a caution. Jaden Pena leading the parade, he green flag in the air. It's still Causey. Holder's taking over that second spot from Ricky Warren. Checkered flag is flying. Checkered flag is out. Your winner in the number 87, Ethan Halsey. In the one, two, three, out in the four. Here we go. Green flag in the air. Drag race down the back straight away. Jesse McNaughton, Dylan Alasco. Alasco down low. McNaughton up high. McNaughton starts to push those ponies. They start to gallop up as he is our new leader, taking it down the back straightaway in the 17M. McNaughton dewatering under the flag stand with six more to go. Under the flag stand, it's still McNaughton, Alasco, and the other 41 R of Rogers. Danny Jackson battling for that third spot. 
with Cole Rogers. Whoa, Cole Rogers goes up high, Jackson down low. Rogers gathers it back up as we got us a good race for that third, fourth, and fifth spot. Danny Jackson from Willis, Texas, as our leaders go under the flag stand one more time. McNorton and Alasco as we got a good race for this third spot. Danny Jackson from Willis hanging on to it as we speak. Two to go as Mike Norton goes under the flag stand. Alasco up high in the 41. Danny Jackson, Doug Mendez, and the other 41 are of Chris Rogers. White flag is out. Jesse McNorton, still in Alaska. McNorton hammer down, down the back straightaway as he comes after four looking for that checkered flag. He has got it and he is your winner. Still in Alaska in that second spot. Danny Jackson from Willis, Texas in the two. That's Doug Mendez and the other 41 of Cole Rogers. As Steve Dixon drives his 14 car. Seventh the line right here, green flag it here. Here we go, green flag racing. Robert Bartell out to an early lead. Alex Bates in the 14 behind him. They run one and two. Got the 14 of Alex Bates. He is a Bartlett sandwich. And Robert's on the high side, Brennan's on behind him. Out of turn four with five to go. Robert Bartlett. Alex Bates and Brendan Bartlett. Underneath the flag stand one more time. A couple of Bartlett's with Alan Bates in the middle of them. Robert Bartlett starting to catch up with some of this lap traffic. See if he can get by that without any incident. Coming up on the 04 of Sam Johnson. Bartlett goes to the high side. Going to cut under him. Oh, don't cut down on him. Robert Bartlett gets by him on the low side. Here comes Alex Bates. Trying to get past him right here. Sam Johnson trying to hold on to that four way up against the wall. Hey, we got him back again as we stole green, green, green. Robert Bartlett still up at the front of this pack. Sam Johnson in the 04 brings his to the hot pits as we bring our yellow, yellow, yellow. Blake Seals out to an early lead as he starts to spread his number 49 machine under the flag stand leading lap number one. Greg Miller in that second spot. John Jordan in that 44 in the third spot and the 13 M of Benjamin Ski.
going to the flag stand one more time. Blake Seals. about to get them piled up back in the running for that second spot as Blake Seals brings that 49 across here coming up on some lap traffic. The 44 machine hanging on to that second spot of Shane Jordan. Shane Jordan getting past some lap traffic as he hangs on to that second spot. Under the flag stand, the 49 of Bubba Seals, but Blake Seals, my bad. Greg Miller getting passed by the 121 machine. A 12M machine, my bad. Two to go, two more times around. White flag is out. We got one more circle, one more time around. Blake Seals trying to bring it to the to the house. Out of four, checkered flag is out. We got us a winner in the number 49 of Blake Seals, followed by the 44 of Shane Jordan. Michael Barton, Piper Christensen, as we go on green, green, green. Test one, two, test. Whoa, back them up, back them up, back them up. Yellow's out. Here, here we go. GB car to the rabbits running as the number 711 starts to spread it out. Everybody is chasing the rabbit. Lee Prater. Test one, two, test one, two. Test, test one, two, test one, two. Test, test, test. Test one, two, test one, two. All right, sounds good. GB Ward out in front with the rabbit. The other two bugs are chasing them. Of Lee Prater and Randy Ward.
Going past some lab traffic. As the 7-Eleven at J.B. Carter starts to spread his lead as we got a yellow, yellow, yellow. Later, as we go green flag in the air one more time. Oh, we got them bumping and grinding right here at the back of this packet. We're trying to get one to the infield. That's the 96 machine of Ashley Huffman. G.B. Carter spreading his lead out as he, we are past the halfway point. G.B. Carter got the rabbit wound up tight as he's going down the back straightaway. Lee Prater trying to reel him in. In that 32 car is Steven Batera. Randy Ward trying to lead up with the pack here. That's the number eight machine is behind him. That's Todd Daniels from Cleveland. UIL taking a shortcut back on the track. We stay green. Under the flag stand with five to go. Five more times. GB Carter. Lee Prater will be getting pressured by the 32 machine of Steven Batera. Meanwhile, it's all about the 7-Eleven from up north in Harlingen, Texas, G.B. Carter as he starts to come up on some lab traffic. Carter making his way up on the pregnant roller skate of Miss Bedford as he's got two lap cars in front of him as we got two to go. G.B. Carter's falling in between everybody so that he don't make a mistake as we come out and the white flag's out. Well, we're bumping and grinding right here. Dorothy Bedford in the number three car. Oh, we're bumping and grinding back over here. We're trying to take out the leader. But he comes across as we come underneath the flag stand. Checkered flag is out your winner. In the number 711, GP Carter. Yeah, there was about about two of there you go. Alex Caldwell out to an early lead as we are flying around down the back straightaway. Push the pedal and turn it left. Running in that second spot, the number 57 T of Terry Pullen. And everybody else is in third and fourth spot. Alex Caldwell starting to stretch that lead out in the 171. Keep an eye on Doug Watson. He's very patient. 
He's back about six or seven spot, but he'll make his move here shortly. As I speak, Doug Watson comes into that second spot, trying to run down Caldwell, but here comes the 99 machine of Wesley Wagner as he takes over that second spot. Wagner up on that high groove right up by the, by the wall. He's trying to run him down as Watson is behind him and the number 63 of Dylan Rogers. Wesley Wagner coming from sixth spot up to second now, and he is about to reel in the 171 machine of Alex Caldwell riding that high cushion, pushing it up there as he gets a good run out of turn number two. Got one going around back as we got yelly, yelly, yella. Green flag in here, here we go, one more time. Red, 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 red. Got one all tangled up over here, up and side down and everything. He started any time and he did as he's getting ready to go follow me. Wesley Wagner up on the high side one more time. Coming out of four, we got a dozen more to go. Doug Watson in the 38, hanging on to that third spot. As we got up bobbing and weaving back six, seven, eight, nine spots as we are fighting for the lead. Alex Caldwell, here comes Wesley Wagner in the 99 on the high side. Can he make it stick right here, get a good run coming out of turn four? We're coming under the flag stand, nose to tail. Wagner still up high, good run out here as he drags races down the back straightaway. Alex Caldwell down low, Wagner up high, and here comes Watson getting off in the mix in the 38 machine. Down low, Wagner says, hey, I'll see you later. Underneath the flag stand, got us a new leader. Oh, no, Caldwell brings it back in the 70, 171. Wagner up on the beach one more time as he comes out, gets a good read. Here comes the number, the 38. Doug Watson got a hot break as that hot break starts to fly up on the 38 machine. Wagner up on the high side. Watson, as he's coming down, everybody's keeping an eye on that hot brake pad as he starts to glow and throw some sparks. Still Caldwell underneath the flag as we got five more to go, five more circles. It's Caldwell, Wagner, and Watson. Coming up on some lap traffic. Underneath the flag stand with four to go. Wagner still up on the high side. Doug Watson trying to get off in the mix. Got a good run. We got us a new leader down the back straightaway as we got smoke coming yelly, yelly, yella.
push the pedal, green flag, here we go, back racing. Wesley Wagner up at the front of this pack. Wesley Wagner, Doug Watson down low, Andrew Clark trying to follow him in in the 77 machine. Wesley Wagner from Baytown, Texas, coming out of turn four with two to go, two more times around. And then it's the Watson boys, Andrew Clark. We got yellow, yellow somewhere. Got one spun around going the wrong way on a one-way street. The parade as we go, green flag in here. Here we go one more time. We got a green. We're going to get a white. We got four wide coming out of turn number two as they are fighting for that last chance to get up there in the mix. Wagner all the way up against the wall. Here comes the Andrew Clark in the 77 and Doug Watson. Andrew Clark trying to run him down as we got one to go. Out at four, here we come, checkered flag waving, and there is your winner, Wesley Wagner, Andrew Clark, and Doug Watson. Modified racing. Push the pedal, turn it left, green flag in the air. Here we go, limited modified racing. Justin Collins and Randy Bridges out in front of this pack. Jason Downey got some kind of problem with his car. It looks like as he is starting to fight it, make it turn left. Under the flag stand, it's still Collins, Bridges, and Downing, and Weibel. Good job right there, getting that car under control. That's Matthew Cos Castle in the 75. Justin Collins still out in front of this pack. Randy Bridges hanging on to that second spot. Yella, 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 yella. Coming out of four, green flag in here. Here we go one more time.
Bridges getting a good run coming out of turn number two. Jason down and fighting down low. Here comes the number three of Charles Riley. Justin Collins starting to spread his lead. Randy Bridges still hanging on to that second spot. A black car, the 164 of Jason Downing and Charles Riley from Huntsville, Texas in the number three, Sonny Wabble, right going out your, your top five. Got one around backwards coming out of turn four. We'll bring out our yellow one more time. Green flag racing. Matthew Castle in the 75 around spinning and he takes out the yellow one more time. Green flag in there. Here we go back. Limited modified racing. Justin Collins, Randy Bridges still running one and two. Jason Downing hanging on to that third spot. Charles Riley from Huntsville in the number three as we got five to go. Five more times around. Green flag in here one more time. Justin Collins trying to finish this out. It's still Collins, Bridges, and Downing. Blake Shields up to that fourth spot all the way from the back of the pack. Justin Collins, Randy Bridges. Two to go, two more times around. Justin Collins, Jason Downing trying to get underneath Randy Bridges for that second spot. Bridges slamming the door. Collins out of turn number four, white flag in the air. We got one more time around. Got them bumping in the ground and one more time we got yellow. Nose to tail, push the pedal, here we go. Finish it up, let it amount of fight. Racing, Justin Collins. There comes Downing on the outside. Can he have enough? No, he can't. Randy Bridges slams the door. We got one more time. We got one going around. He comes in the infield. We stay green, green, green. White flag is out. Justin Collins coming out of turn number four. Check it back. There's your winner. Randy Bridges holding on to that second spot. Flag in the air. Here we go. IMC modified lights. Mod lights, here we come. We are all bopped up here. Blaine Estes in the 27, bobbing and weaving through the traffic here.
Joshua Sosa up at the front. Here comes Blaine Estes as he takes over that second spot. Corey Babbitt in that number 12, hanging on to the third spot as we got us a new leader. The 121 of Joa Salsa. Here we go, green flag. Corey Babbitt checking out in that number 12 car. Joshua Sosa hanging on to that second spot as the number 19 machine of Dustin Rude. 99 of Rick Henry. Babbitt on a midnight ride in that number 12, and he's got about 25 car lengths on Joshua Sosa. Dustin Rude hanging on to that third spot. Here comes Rick Henry in the 99 machine. Corey Babbitt starting to come up on some lap traffic. We'll see if he gets past these guys. James Nolan in the 55 said, what was that that just went by? That was Corey Babbitt as he goes under the flag stand. Just going under halfway, nine more laps to go. Corey Babbitt one more time, getting past the 192 machine. Corey Babbitt starting to bob and weave as he's starting to pick them off left and right. We got seven to go, seven more times around. Five more circles, five more times. Corey Babbitt's got a half a track. Sosa goes around, that gives Dustin Rude that second spot. Joshua right here, he's holding him up, holding him up, push the pedal, here we go. Corey Babbitt, Dustin Rude, Ricky, One, two, three, as we come out with four to go. Corey Babbitt starting to stretch his lead out with that number 12 machine. As we come out of turn three with three more laps to go. Two to go. 
two more times around. White flag is out. One more time, Corey Babbitt underneath the flag stand. Dustin Rude hanging on to that second spot. There is your winner in the number 12. Corey Babbitt, Dustin Rude in that second spot. Ricky Henry and Kyle Berry. Everyone on your feet as we have 15 modifieds ready to battle. 25 laps, $1,000 to win for the Short Track Super Series Ollie's Bargain Outlet Cajun Region. We're gonna break for the race of the season and here we go! Race start for Myers, race start for Matty Alley as they both work to the outside of the 7X of Robbins. And here comes Matty Alley! Matty Alley chasing his first win in series history in the 35 as he's trying to chase down the 9 of Myers. So it's Myers, Matty Alley, Robbins, Holt and Dillard, your top five cars, followed by Johnny Roscoe, Meek, Fouts, Holt, and Forbes. Here comes Keith Matty Alley as Myers slips up just a bit. Two laps down, 23 to go. Here comes Caleb Dillard and he's going to run to the the 33 of Holt. Can't pull it off. Rasko going to close in as Miller's going to pull to the infield. Keep an eye on the 18 and the R21 as that is the points battle right there. Dillard has a 66 point advantage over the R21 of Rasko. Rasko needing to pick up points tonight with only two races remaining in the season after tonight. So Myers leads, followed by Batty Alley, Holt, Dillard, and Rasko, your top five. Robbins has six, Fouts has seven. Meek is eight, Ford is ninth, Holt's tenth, Boswell's 11. Buckley is 12th, Erickson is 13th, and Wester's got a right front flat, he'll pull to the infield. Five laps in, 20 to go as Alan Myers looking for his second win in series history as he won the only appearance at the Rocket Raceway Park earlier this year. Batty Alley running the top, Myers runs the bottom. As here comes Robbins, he's gonna start charging back towards the front as he's gonna charge, challenge Batty Alley for the fifth spot. Myers out front, Batty Alley, Holt, Dillard, Rasco. The running order remains the same as Dillard starts closing in on the 33 of Richard Holt. He's going to look to the inside for the third spot. Can't get it just yet. Holt's too strong on the top. Back up front. Myers still in control as Dillard dives back to the inside of Holt. At the line, he still can't get it. Myers, Matty Alley, Holt, Dillard, and Rasko still your top five. Allen Myers out front. As Erickson's going to take a slight detour right in front of your race leader, Myers goes to the outside unscathed. Matty Alley's going to get slowed up. He'll cross under and he'll get back. Those two cars clearing the slower car of Erickson. Here comes Richard Holt. Here comes Caleb Dillard to negotiate with the 74 of Roger Erickson. And they both get by. 10 laps down, 15 laps to go for Alan Myers. Can Keith Batty Alley get his first career win with the Short Track Super Series Cajun Region? He was in control at Boot Hill Speedway until he lost power steering after leading the first eight laps. Cody Adams ended up winning that race. Fortunately, Cody not here with us tonight. Myers and Batty Alley closing in on Britton Buckley. As the laps wind down, we're halfway this time. Myers and Batty Alley. Here comes Batty Alley. Going to get a good run to the inside. Down the back straight away. Holt still holds on to the third spot. Dillard is fourth. And Rasko is fifth. For Bello showing the halfway sign. This time, 12 laps to go for the Cajun region. Myers seems to have found something. Or Batty Alley's falling off. 
as Myers extends his race lead by a few car lengths. That time by Batty Alley going to close back in. Down the back straightaway, Dillard looking to the inside of Holt for the third spot. We'll see if he can pull the trigger. Holt runs through the middle, Dillard on the bottom, he can't get him yet. Strong run from Richard Holt as he holds off the points leader and the former place champion. Gonna have to deal with Roger Erickson once again, and here comes Batty Alley. With nine laps to go, he's closed back in. Myers and Batty Alley. Two Northern Louisiana racers about to duke it out for eight more circuits here at the 105. Myers runs through the middle, Batty Alley using the bottom side of the speedway. Holt gonna clear Erickson once again with Dillard close behind him. As there's seven to go this time for Myers. With Cody Adams not showing up tonight, it opened up the door for Alan Myers. He can become third in the points with a good run tonight, and he's looking to capitalize. Looking to gain points on Dillard and Rasco, who would be the two cars ahead of him in the points. Batty Alley is fifth in points, and he's trying to check down the nine. As we're coming down to it, five laps to go as Batty Alley sails a bit high there. Five to go for Myers. He'll have to deal with the 7 mm of Boswell before he can make his way to victory lane here at the 105 Speedway. Does Batty Alley have enough time to close back in? And will he get some assistance from Boswell? We have four laps to find out. Myers playing conservative. We'll see if Batty Alley gets enough time to get to it. He's going to gain ground down the back straightaway. The nine of Myers got a little bit loose there that time. Three laps to go, and Batty Alley is catching him. Here comes Keith Batty Alley. Myers going to sail high down out of turn two once again. And race fans, keep an eye on the 35. Here he comes. Two laps to go this time. Myers leads Batty Alley, closing in with lap traffic right in front of Myers. Can Keith pull it off? Boswell and Erickson are going to be two wide in front of the center. Myers has no way to go. Here comes Myers. They're going to come around. Myers, Batty Alley, Dillard is on Myers. But it's all about the front. Myers leads. Batty Alley second. They get by Erickson, and he'll have one more chance to pull it off. He's going to run down the inside. Is it going to be Myers? Is it going to be Batty Alley? Oh, Myers leads the world of the speed away. Keep that early second. Caleb Dillard's third. Richard Hall fourth, Tommy Rasko's fifth, Cody Robbins is sixth, brother Falk seventh, David Ford is eighth, Anthony Meek is ninth, Corey Oltz tenth, Brent Buckley eleventh, Joe Boswell is twelfth, and Roger Erickson gonna finish in the thirteenth spot. Hey, going off into turn number four. Here we go. Green flag in the air. Good luck. Bouncing off the wall, we're not going to get lap one in here before we get them all torn up. Yella, 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 yella. Here. Justin McClellan getting a good run. We got him piled up again over in turn number three. Our two, that's Mike Copeland. Justin McClellan up at the top. Thomas Downing down low. Here comes Calvin Tucker getting off in the mix and holding Holder. Calvin Tucker trying to stick his nose down as he hangs on to that third spot. The Sheepdog, Justin McClellan, Thomas Downing, still running one and two.
underneath the flag stand one more time. The Sheepdog, Justin McClellan, Thomas Downing Sr., Calvin Tucker, Olin Holden the, the fourth, and the 24 machine of Robert Jessup. Tucker challenging for that second spot. Calvin Tucker down low. Thomas Downing up high. Downing pulls him as we got two cars bouncing down there again. That is Copeland one more time. Four, green flag, here we go. Number three, nose to tail, green flag. Here we go one more time. Thomas Downing trying to stick that nose. McClellan, he slams the door. turn four. Green flag one more time. Let's finish it up. 13 laps to go. Justin McClellan still out in front. Thomas Downing, senior. Calvin Tucker, Olin Holder, and Robert Jessup. Halfway home, 10 more to go. Calvin Tucker sticking a nose down underneath Downing. Can't quite get, get it to pass. Here comes Tucker one more time, trying down low as he got a nose up to the fender. All he can do, Justin McClellan, he's out here all by himself. Nose to tail, eight more laps to go. Some to Bert Jessup. We go green one more time.
Yeah, we got back in here. Here we go. Green flag racing. Justin McClellan, Calvin Tucker, Owen Holder, Robert Jessup. and Justin Johnson. Five to go, getting tied up at the front of this pack. Justin McClellan, the sheepdog. Calvin Tucker all over his back door. Olin holder got a problem with his car as he brings it to the hot pits. We got two to go, two more times around. Calvin Tucker all over the back bumper of Justin McClellan. Justin McClellan, Calvin Tucker, as we got a good race underneath the flag stand. One more time around. Calvin Tucker trying to show a nose. McClellan slams the door. We got one more time right here. Calvin Tucker trying to make it stick down low. Checkered flag and there's the winner, Justin McClellan. Green flag, here we go. Dog pile on the back straightaway. Off in the three, ten to four, here we go, green flag. Got him, four wide, coming out of turn number four. Hold on to what you got. Meanwhile, the 272 machine of Robert Bartlett. Ethan Cozzi in that second spot. Dylan Alasco down low. Something's wrong with the 17 machine as he's trying to fight his way back up. Robert Bartlett getting past some lap traffic. Ethan Causey getting past some lap traffic. Jesse McNaughton getting caught up with some lap traffic. Running in that fourth spot, the 41 of Dylan Alasco. Coming up on some more lap traffic in the form of the 31 machine of Larry Peelan.
Robert Steele, Robert Bartlett up in front as we got our yella, yella, yella. Got to be a little debris on the track somewhere. Robert Bartlett says, follow me and don't mess up. Let's go racing. Knocking on his back door, Jesse McNaughton. Still in Alaska running in that four spot. Got real close to the wall. Everybody's still chasing Robert Bartlett. Ethan Causey in that second spot. Jesse McNaughton. And Dylan Alasco, three and four. Robert Bartlett still out in front. As we go nose to tail. Seven more laps to go, seven more circles around. Robert Bartlett from Cleveland, Texas. In that 272, still going up front. Cause he's trying to stick a nose under him. Can't quite get it to stick as Bartlett gets mighty, mighty wide. It's still Bartley, Causey, McNaughton, and Alasco. Out of four with four to go. Caution one more time. Green flag in the air one more time. Robert Bartlett is trying to hold him off. Ethan Causey, we all nose to tell, we all piled up swapping paint. Bartlett coming out, leading the parade. It's still Causey, Jesse McNaughton, and Dylan Alasco. Three more times around. Robert Bartlett bringing the 272 car underneath the flag stand one more time as we got two to go, two more times around. It's Bartlett, Cosy, McNaughton, and Alasco under the flag stand. White flags in the air. We got one more circle, one more time. Hold on to what you got. We might get us a winner right here. Robert Bartlett coming for his first feature win. Out of turn four, year winner in the 272, Robert Bartlett. 